everybody! Today, we're going to learn about rainforests, just like the Amazon. Wait, did we get a delivery from Amazon? No, Quinn. Not the Amazon company, the Amazon rainforest. So we can buy a rainforest from Amazon? No, Quinn. Do you know anything about rainforests? Is it a box from Amazon? You really need to learn about rainforests. And so does everybody else. Let's learn about rainforests! There are two types of rainforests, temperate rainforests and tropical rainforests. Temperate rainforests lie between the tropics and the polar circles of the Earth. They are found in a couple of regions around the world, such as Western North America, Southeastern Australia, and New Zealand. But today we will be focusing on tropical rainforests. Tropical rainforests lie in the tropics, and they are found in areas close to the equator like Asia, Africa, Central America, and the Pacific Islands. Like the name says, they also grow in places that have a lot of rainfall. A tropical rainforest will usually receive at least 7 feet of rainfall in one year. The trees can grow very, very high and they are only found where it's hot and humid. And lots of different kinds of living things thrive in rainforests. Did you know that one-tenth of all the Earth's species are found in the Amazon rainforest? The most common creatures in a rainforest are insects. They live in every zone of a rainforest, as well as large raptors such as white-tailed hawks and harpy eagles are its top predators. Colorful toucans hop from branch to branch. Howler monkeys come from the tree tops, and tapers rummage through the leaves on the forest floor searching for food. However, the rainforest can be also a dangerous place with lots of dangerous animals. Jaguars prowl through the trees, and huge snakes called anacondas swim through the rivers and streams. You'll also find animals like the chimpanzee, gorillas, Indian cobras, orangutans, monkeys, leopards, parrots, and iguanas. Over a quarter of all natural medicines that we use have been discovered in rainforests. Rainforests are responsible for turning carbon dioxide into oxygen, keeping our atmosphere healthy. They do this because of all the plants and trees that grow in a rainforest. And if you look at the rainforest from a plane or a helicopter or a drone, it looks like a single huge group of trees. Hey, guess what? Did you know that the rainforest have different layers? The first layer is called the emergent layer. The emergent layer is the highest layer in a rainforest, around 150 feet above the ground. The emergent layer is home to many birds and insects. It is also the layer that has the tops of the tallest trees in the entire rainforest. These trees can be up to 260 feet tall. That's almost as tall as a football field. And in the Amazon rainforest, the towering trees of the emergent layer include the Brazil nut tree and the Kapok tree. The Brazil nut tree is a vulnerable species but can live up to 1,000 years in undisturbed rainforest habitats. And unlike many rainforest species, both the Brazil nut tree and the Kapok tree are deciduous, meaning they shed their leaves during the dry season. The animals living in the emergent layer of the Amazon rainforest include birds, bats, gliders, and butterflies. Next, we have the canopy layer. The canopy layer includes most of the other trees in the rainforest. And the canopy of the rainforest is made up of the upper parts of the trees. This layer can reach heights of 65 to 130 feet or 20 to 40 meters high. It is right below the emergent layer. 
About 50% of all the plant species in the rainforest can be found in the canopy. More rainforest plants and animals live in the canopy layer than anywhere else. The canopy layer gets most of the sunlight and is the forest's most productive area. The canopy layer also blocks winds, rainfall, and sunlight, creating a humid, still, and dark environment below. The canopy in a rainforest is so dense that it can be up to 10 minutes before water hits the ground when it rains. Trees have adapted to this damp environment by producing glossy leaves with pointed tips that repel water. And the tallest trees in the emergent layer rely on wind to scatter their seeds, but the canopy plants, which do not get much wind, encase their seeds in fruit. These sweet fruits make animals want to eat them. When they eat the fruit, they then spread the seeds on the forest floor as animal droppings or animal poop. And fig trees are very common throughout most of the world's tropical rainforests. Fig trees may be the most familiar fruit tree in the canopy layer. Thousands and thousands of insect species can also be found in the canopy, from bees to beetles, borers, or butterflies. Next, we have the understory layer. The understory layer is between the canopy and the forest floor. This is the layer where lots of birds, lizards, and snakes live. The understory layer is dark, still, and even more humid than the canopy layer's environment. Plants here, such as palm and philodendrons, are much shorter. They have larger leaves than plants that grow heavy in the canopy layer. These plants' large leaves catch the small amount of sunlight that makes it through the dense cover of the canopy layer. Many of the rainforest animals live in the understory home for a lot of reasons. A lot of the animals take advantage of the dimly lit environment for camouflage. For example, the spots on a jaguar can maybe be mistaken for leaves or spots of the sunlight. One of the deadliest snakes in the world, the green mamba, blends in with leaves and branches as it slithers up branches in the Congo rainforest. And many bats, birds, and insects prefer the open air space the understory has that the canopy doesn't. And amphibians such as brightly colored tree frogs thrive in the humidity because it keeps their skin moist. Did you know that Central Africa's tropical rainforest canopies and understories are home to some of the most endangered and popular rainforest animals? Animals like gorillas, pythons, antelopes, and elephants. <coughs> Gorillas, which are endangered species of primate, are very important for spreading seeds. See, gorillas are herbivores that live and move within the dark, dense rainforest. They also explore sunnier areas as well as swamps. And their droppings, or their poop, from the fruit that they've eaten spreads these seeds in the sunny areas where new trees and shrubs can take root. See, only 2% of the sunlight reaches the understory. So by doing this, gorillas are extremely important in many African rainforest ecosystems. Finally, we get to the forest floor layer. Very little light actually makes it to the forest floor layer. So only plants that have learned to survive in very low light levels can survive. The forest floor is almost completely dark because of all of the trees. Leaves that fall down to the forest floor decay quickly. Decomposers such as termites, slugs, scorpions, worms, and fungi live on the forest floor. Organic matter like leaves and bark fall from the trees and plants and these bugs and insects and more 
break down the decaying material into nutrients. The shallow roots of the rainforest trees absorb these nutrients and dozens of predators consume the decomposers. These are animals like wild pigs, armadillos, and anteaters. They search in the decomposing brush for these tasty insects, roots, and tubers of the South American rainforest. Even larger predators, including leopards, hide in the darkness to surprise their prey. As you can see, tropical rainforests contain more species of plants and animals than any other habitat. Many of them we have yet to even discover. Have you ever heard of the Amazon? And I don't mean... It covers over 1.4 billion acres. Billion with a B. Whoa, did you know that the Amazon rainforest is so big that if it were a country, it would be the ninth biggest country in the world? That is a ginormous forest. So how do rainforests help us? Well, first, they keep us healthy. Would you believe that tropical rainforests are known as the largest drugstore in the world? Over 25% of the natural medicines that have been discovered come from rainforests. Around 70% of the plant species useful in cancer treatment are found only in the rainforests. Even with all the medicinal uses we've discovered in the rainforest, less than 1% of the plants in rainforests have actually been examined to see if they have any uses in other medicines as well. Imagine what else could be out there to help sick people. Rainforests also create about 30 to 40% of the global oxygen that we use. Well, they seriously do keep us healthy with medicines, oxygen, and healthy food. Did you know that there are tribes of people living in the rainforest that have never had contact with the world outside of their villages? Did you know that rainforests are the oldest living ecosystem on our planet? Sadly, rainforests are being cut down very, very fast. Rainforests used to cover about 14% of the Earth's surface, but now they're disappearing. In fact, it is estimated that we lose about 80,000 acres of rainforest every single day. And some scientists believe that rainforests will not be able to survive for more than another 40 years or so if we continue to destroy them. Rainforests are very important to people, animals, insects, and the planet Earth. And now that you know more about them, you should let people know how important you think they are to you and your family. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom! Mom, I think Amazon delivered a box.